there, how are you all doing? I hope you are all doing well. So basically, if you didn't know, I've mentioned this a few times, I actually film all of my videos in a big walk-in closet. That's what this room is, it's a walk-in closet. And I'm very, very fortunate for that, for having this, because I used to film all of my videos in my bedroom. So when I had the opportunity to have my own like office slash closet space, I, I absolutely jumped on it because it got to a point where filming in my room was great and it worked for me, but when it did become my career, having lights out in my bedroom all the time, I just wanted to kind of separate the work life from the living life so I could just have everything in one room, shut the door and be done with it, you know? My mum always says to me, if you can make your life easier, then you should. And basically, as much as this space has been great for me, it does double as a closet. It does not have the room that I really need. And back in January, I had actually leased a space that I would be able to film from. Um, I had like my deposit down, the lease agreement and everything. And then obviously everything with COVID hit and I just decided against doing it because I didn't want to be out in public or walking through any office space, going past people, any of that stuff. So um, the last few months when I should have been in a different space, I've still been in this closet. So I knew it got to a point where I needed to change something because I, had these big box lights, I have big camera equipment, I'm getting more and more art supplies sent to me from companies or I'm buying supplies for videos. I just was running out of room. I would have about this much space to squeeze around my desk and my lights would make me really hot. I had like a vent on the ceiling that would have like a tiny amount of air conditioning and it sounds really pathetic but by the time I'd sit down to film my videos I'd be really hot and bothered and I'd be really like in a bad mood and be like, I really don't want to film. I would dread filming videos because I couldn't just walk in here, all set up, sit down, done. I couldn't even get to my clothes because the drawers that contain some of my clothes would like open out onto hanging clothes. And I don't want to seem like I'm complaining because I'm so grateful for this, but um, I just knew that I would be able to make life a little bit easier for myself, make it a more calming, enjoyable space to be in versus a cramped, unenjoyable one. So for the last few weeks, I have been doing my research to get ideas. I've been watching Skillshare classes on organization, time management, all of that stuff. It's been a lot of work by myself for the last five days, but um, I'm pretty excited to show you what I've been up to. So let's get started. It's room tour time. So to our right here, we have two ginormous units filled with art supplies. We have a desk in the middle that's covered in paint, a Cinderella castle that just looks like it's floating in midair. Then we have this beautiful giant white unit that's the size of a car. So first task of the day is to remove this giant car sized white unit and put my clothes elsewhere. I did have a much better plan for this which you will see later on in the video but for now we're going to take this out and we're going to pull down these shelving units as well. I have a random box of junk which I don't really know what to do with but I found it hidden away and I'm probably just going to hide it elsewhere instead. I found an old vase hidden away that had three cents and a bobby pin inside of it. Is this not the best handbag that you have ever seen in your life? It looks like a Pooh Bear honeypot. It is beautiful. I've used it maybe three times, but it's beautiful. And now comes the fun part. I'm gonna start breaking stuff and taking these shelves down because I don't use them for the purpose they're supposed to be used for. It just holds a bunch of memorabilia that I'm not even gonna use there anymore. So we're gonna take them down and I have such a fun plan for what I'm gonna do with this wall, just you wait. Hello, okay, so I wanted to take a quick break to let you know that this video is being kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Now, Skillshare has been so beneficial to me during this whole process because they have a lot of videos on interior design and organization, but they also have obviously the general art, illustration, design, business, photography, all of that stuff. Um, thousands and thousands of classes that they have on their platform. I have loved Skillshare for years myself. I used their platform before I ever even worked with them. There was a class in particular by Lauren Cox who made a class called Interior Design Basics, Simple Steps to Perfect Space. I found this, some of her tips in that class, really beneficial to me as I was working through my own space. Because not only do I want this to be a functional space, I also want it to be a space that I can walk into and feel calm. Skillshare is giving 1,000 of you all two months of free unlimited classes if you check out the link in my description down below. It's such an affordable platform anyway. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. I highly recommend whether you want to get better at a hobby or you want to learn a new hobby or you want to get into a new career path. You can learn so many new things on Skillshare. So once again, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and helping me be able to revamp my space because obviously a lot of this stuff is very expensive and I'll get back to the video. I 
have some wallpaper that looks like white bricks. It's very pretty, I bought this on Amazon. It's essentially peel and stick wallpaper, so I don't need any paste or anything. It just comes off easily, it sticks on easily, and I just want it to look kind of like an art loft. So I'm gonna put this all the way along the back wall. The back wall that you always see in all of my videos, the one that used to have the shelves, that I then painted the Disney castle on. This is just gonna go all the way along it. Let's get started. I am not excited for this. This is gonna take so long. Hi, hello. Um, I am going to now be covering my Disney castle with wallpaper. I know a lot of you are not going to really be very happy about that, but the reason I'm doing it is because as much as I do really enjoy having this castle here, my initial plan for it was to have it from like floor to ceiling, like a big size of it, but I just kind of accidentally painted it too small. Whenever I sit in my videos, in my chair, it's too high and you just see the bottom of it in this weird like area of nothingness underneath and I can fix it, I can make it bigger, I can um, put something underneath it but it's gonna take me hours to fix that and honestly I really just like the idea of having a simplistic background for now it's just like there and if I, I'm not very happy with it anymore I'll just pull it off castle will still be there, I can fix it and do whatever but for now this baby's gonna get covered up, I'm sorry, I still love you so I currently have these two giant units in my room. These are what hold basically all of my art supplies, but honestly they're kind of empty now because I actually took a lot of the art supplies out of here that I don't regularly use and I put it into my own storage unit. Okay, so it is all up now. It took me quite a few hours, well not a few hours, it probably took me a couple hours in total to do over the last couple of days, but I think it looks really good. I'm not sure about you, but I think it looks really nice and makes the room, because they're like horizontal bricks, it really widens the room. Here's the tension rod, as you can see. It just basically can be pulled up and down if ever I need to. I cut a little hole out of the wallpaper there so that it's not gonna like drag it down because it's not like actual wallpaper that's fully sticky. And back here, I'm actually going to be screwing in some clothing poles so I can actually like hang a lot of my clothes up. So I'm gonna do one at the top and then one about halfway down. This is how they look. They are very, very, very heavy. And they have two little plates each side that attach to the wall. So these are the plates. They screw into the wall with these little holes here. However, I just looked at the screws and the wall plugs that they gave me for this. They are ridiculously tiny. There is no way that those poles are gonna hold up with these, let alone when there's clothes on it, they're just gonna rip completely out of the wall. So I just picked these out um, of the garage and there's basically some wall anchors, some more wall plugs and some screws and stuff that are longer so hopefully these will work better than what they gave me. Okay, so I've installed the top pole, as you can see. I have not installed the second one just yet because I need to move this giant white unit out in a minute, but um, I started hanging my clothes up. It works really, really well. This curtain here is kind of, it's difficult to move along. Um, it's not because it's touching the ceiling because I pushed it down and it still did it, but I think what I'm going to have to do is get those little rings that um, you clip onto the top of your curtain and then just have it pull across that way, but... So far, I am so happy with how this is looking. Let's ignore all the stuff on the floor, but look how nice it looks. Please excuse the way that I look. I look a bit messy, but whatever, it's fine. I don't care, it's only, it's only like a few thousand of you are gonna see it. So the next task for me is to put up the second pole. I need to make sure that my measurements are exact because these little brackets, if they are even slightly off, if one is too high or too low, Compared to the other one, the whole pole is going to be off or it's going to be slanted or it's going to be just like facing weird. Next up, I've got my drill bit here and I'm going to make a hole in the wall um, so it has place for me hammering in the wall plugs. <laughs> There, we are good. Now I have the fun task of putting all of my clothes on the rest of this pole. So basically all the clothes and crap in my bathroom 
will now be taken out of the bathroom and put away. I've also got tons and tons of these velvet hangers. By the way, I got these from Amazon. They're just Amazon Basics hangers. And pretty much they're just, they're better looking than the plastic hangers. They are all clothesline neater. Um, you can fit more in and stuff like that. Fun fact, I was invited to Playlist Live in February of this year. It was a great time, really, really fun. A lot of the people that are invited there, like YouTubers and TikTokers and all that stuff, are very fortunate enough to get access to a lot of freebies. So me, my friend Ray and Hannah were just pretty much just grabbing all of the free stuff we could find, including this t-shirt. Me and Ray were just like, ooh, free free brushes. And then we'd go and leave, and then we'd walk back and go, ooh, let's get another free brush. So basically, I have this TV unit that was in my bedroom that I'm now gonna be taking out of my bedroom and putting into this closet and holding all of my art supplies. Okay, so this is the dresser that was in my bedroom. My TV was on top of it and it had all of like my DVDs and my Nintendo Switch related stuff. I don't really want the color um, as it is in my art space, so I'm going to paint it a matte black charcoal color. So last night I managed to take out my desk, I managed to take out the big white unit and I have put in my refinished um, TV unit that I'm going to be putting all of my art supplies in. So this is where I would like to keep it and where it's going to live for now. I'm going to end up putting a big gallery wall here of some like vintage Disney style posters above this so that's going to be basically the background of all of my videos going forward i do have a new desk in the garage or garage however you however you want to say it <laughs> um that is going to be put about here when i'm filming when i'm not filming it's small enough to fit in this area right here that i have at the moment um i still need to obviously take all of this stuff away finished putting my clothes here last night as you can see i've got a uh, this this fancy light that's motion sensor detected. Um, I can't seem to put it on the wall though, so it's just balancing on my Titanic painting. But these are all my clothes hanging. I put the second rail up, all of my clothes. I have more clothes than I realized. I didn't know I had that many. And I have my nice curtain to just hide the ugly so I can pretend that it's not there. So I found this little box um, online at Michael's the other day and I just thought it was the perfect opportunity to use it to store some paints like this. Um, it's just a nice little wooden container and if you can get some nice uniform containers for organizing then do it. I only have this one though so I can't really um, <laughs> practice what I preach. Going forward though I'm definitely going to try and have some more uniform containers like this to just like put away and store a lot of my paints. Uh, I actually made this one myself. Um, I did say in a previous video that I would teach you how I made this so I'll probably do like an Instagram video on it at some point so if you want to follow me on Instagram it's just Art of Chloe Rose um, and I will teach you at some point to make this cool little paint brush, paint, paint tube holder. It's, it's quite handy. I think maybe I'll try and put smaller canvases underneath there maybe and then bigger ones can be hidden behind the curtain maybe. Uh, so it's kind of like Wizard of Oz, you know, but instead of a wizard behind the curtain, it's a canvas.
Oh, it's my Inktober book from last year. I have all of my bear drawings in here. This is taking a while. <laughs> So I have to try and keep this as neat as I can because it is glass and you're going to be able to see through it. Um, so pretty much this is what I've done so far. I have all of my Artist Loft paint tubes here. I have my more expensive uh, Liquitex Heavy Body acrylic paints here. I have some more here. I switched them out and um, basically these ones just don't have lids so they don't stand up. So <laughs> that's just getting hidden behind there. These are all of my craft paints down here and also puffy paint for like clothing. I have some paper towels back here. I have some of my gesso. I have my sealant sprays there, some Mod Podge and some chalk paint. Okay, all of these drawers are now empty. I also put this really cool cling thing on my window. It's making these really cool rainbows all in my room. So pretty. How cool is that? I found some rather questionable artwork from when I was a child in this old sketchbook. Um, these aren't too bad, there's a little bear there, but it's basically teaching you how to draw a person with circles and I don't really know what happened. <laughs> Something else that I'm doing is taking everything out of its original packaging, like this stuff that I've kept. It just takes up too much room and it just makes it easier going forward just having it all in a little pot like this. <sighs> I just got a pin in my foot, that was pleasant. Ow! <sighs> I was supposed to have a ruggable rug arrive today and it was supposed to be out for delivery but it's literally still stuck in a completely different state for some reason so that's great. Okay so it is now dark outside as you can see but I've pretty much cleared this whole area. This is where I'm gonna bring my desk up um, and put about here. Um, as for this unit, I'm pretty much done filling up. I'll show you what I've got in this side. So as you can see, I have these lovely metal Christmas tins, which I definitely need to replace. I've got some markers here. I have some just like ballpoint pens and things like that in this particular one. This one has all of my Posca markers and I pulled them all to the front so they look nicer with through the glass. These are all of my acrylic um, gouache paints and I put them upside down so that they look kind of pretty <laughs> through there. I mean that one looks dirty, let's turn that around. Back here I have hidden away my little Harry Potter case that I bought from Prime Primark. I bought this from Primark when I went back last year. I'm going to put some coloured pencils in there. And back here is just this thing that I, I found this old cup. I did not buy this for this purpose or buy these anytime recently, don't worry. Down here is not as pretty looking but is the best of what I had. This is a little um, pumpkin that I painted for a Michaels video recently so that'll be for sale on my website. I have my little um, lily pad bear painting there and I also have this one that I painted last May I believe it was and I think I'm gonna actually sell this one now because I just don't use it I have my nice blue fan. Um, I was tempted to put this in storage because I barely use it But honestly it gets quite warm in here and now I have more space I'll probably end up using it at some point in here. I have some kind of random junk, but it's mostly like sketchbooks and some paper um, like I have some marker paper here by Windsor and Newton I believe and then a bunch of like Japanese paper that I was sent Underneath I have some rigid envelopes that I couldn't fit anywhere else and I have some canvases as well. In this first drawer here I have basically all pencils that I can use. I have some mechanical pencils, some regular pencils, some erasers, some pencil sharpeners, just that kind of thing. My metal Pooh Bear case basically just has all of my black markers, fine liners and everything like that because it's just handy having those easy to grab because I do use them quite a lot. Next drawer doesn't really have anything in it, uh, it has some SD cards, so pretty. And the bottom drawer I have, I'm going to keep this as like my printer drawer, so I've got my nice fancy printer paper and stuff and I'll put my inks in there as well. So you may have seen me move this, I was going to get rid of it um, and not use it, but I realised I had so much stuff that I still needed to sell. I have basically like shipping supplies, like thank you stickers, I have like a do not bend stamp, my thermal printing 
paper there, some business cards. In here I have a bunch of my pins. This is the yes I drew that pin. Little stickers, these are good for like laptops and stuff. I have these little dividers that I bought from Amazon. It doesn't work too well in this drawer, unfortunately, but basically it's just dividing up the pins. So this is my art block pin. It's like an art block. Get it? No? Okay. This is my I can't draw circles pin. And the irony is that the circle is wobbly. I will not draw your cat. Paint water, because we're all, you know, we're all guilty of drinking our paint water by accident. In this one, I have a lovely, I'm very happy with this drawer. It's probably my favorite drawer. Um, I have a bunch of envelopes here, and these are cards that will go into the envelopes. I have some customs forms for international orders. Next drawer, I have the prints and things that I'm gonna be selling, the books and stuff. And last drawer is just the junk drawer. This is my thermal printer for all of my, my uh, like, stamps and stuff and then there's my green screen here as well. Okay, so to give you a general idea, this is how my setup when I film is going to be. So basically, I'm going to be sat behind there. It's a bit annoying because the chair doesn't go underneath the desk. It's a little bit too high. But overall, this is kind of how I'm going to have it. I think it'd be quite nice just having the camera like that and that in the background. When I'm not using or using it and not filming, um, I'm going to just, again, stick it in this corner because it's small enough. So I think it's going to work for me. I'll use it for a couple of weeks and see how it goes, but... Um, if for some reason it's no good, there is another desk I've been eyeing up, which is bigger. Just like a nice, proper marble. It's sealed, so hopefully if I get paint on it, I can just scrape it off. Okay, it is day four. Sorry, five. Five or six. I've lost count, honestly. I moved my desk from the centre here, as you can see, and I've put it over by the wall area. Now, this desk, I absolutely... I love it. It's so nice, but the issue is it's too small. Um, it's great as like a workflow if I'm on my laptop, that kind of thing, but when I'm actually painting and filming, it's going to end up having the camera showing some of the floor, and it's just unfortunately not going to work, so I'm going to have to return that. That being said, I have purchased a new desk. It doesn't come for like six more weeks, um, but for now this will work for me until I return it. But I have something else that's really exciting that finally arrived today. As you can see, oh look, the rainbow from the window. It looks so pretty. My ruggable rug came. Look at it, it's so cute. I absolutely love it. This is by a company called Ruggable and these are machine washable rugs. Um, I'm still gonna end up putting plastic on it, like the plastic desk mat things that go on the floor. But basically it attaches to this base here, like a Velcro type thing, and you can take it off and throw it in the washer. And this is the one I went with because I felt that it went most with the vibe I have in this room. So it's getting there, it's nearly done. I still have a bag of, of garbage there, um, and I still have this I need to take out. But obviously I'm gonna show you when it's completely done, but this is it for now. I actually, I'm doing a podcast by the way, called Spilling the Paint Water. It's like a spin on spilling the tea. And I'm gonna be talking to a bunch of my favorite YouTuber artists, artists outside of YouTube. Tonight I have a call with Jazza, it's the morning for him because he's in Australia, um, but it's gonna be a few weeks until it's out I'll obviously let you know, but it's very exciting stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna start working on my gallery wall now A lot of these artworks were purchased from people. They're like PDFs I downloaded to print myself mostly I'm gonna be attaching these frames that I purchased from Amazon with this double-sided sticky tape So I don't have to use any nails or anything Okay, so this is my gallery wall so far. I really, really, really love it. Um, I definitely obviously need more at some point, so I need to kind of do some research on what I can um, find to put like in these spots, but I'm really happy with this. I think what I'm gonna do now though is actually work on just tidying up the rest of this room and then I will show you a preview of how everything looks. Okay, so this wall here is pretty blank. I still need to get some more artwork for here. Also, when I get my bigger desk, I'm most likely gonna be having it either here or against that wall, so that will probably end up disappearing somehow. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I may adjust all of this at some point as well, but I am so ecstatic and over the moon with how all of this looks. 
and thank you so incredibly much for watching this video I really really hope that you enjoyed it I had so much fun doing this it took a long time but it was it was worth it thumbs up if you really like the new um, studio setup as well but yeah for now this is it thank you so much for watching this video take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video